Okay. Mm-hmm. Home of Africa's youth, the 77%. Hello guys, this is the 77%, the platform for Africa's youth to debate issues and share ideas. So don't be left out of the discussion because the future belongs to you. Now, I am excited when young people across Africa and around the world try to safeguard their future, especially when it comes to the issue of climate change. Children, teenagers, and young adults around the world are taking the bull by the horn with this new movement called Fridays for Future. It was started by Swedish teenager Greta Thunberg to boycott school every Friday for demonstrations, demanding tough action on climate change. The worldwide protest is organized by the pupils and students themselves because kids are beginning to question why they should study for a future which may not be there due to the worsening climate destruction. And it makes sense, doesn't it? Now, one of their main demands is for countries to do more to reach the goals of the Paris Climate Agreement, like reducing worldwide CO2 emissions which lead to global warming. Now, According to the Fridays for Future website, on March 15th alone, there were at least 1.6 million strikers on all seven continents in over 125 countries. In Uganda, children demonstrate their dissatisfaction too. We caught up with one of the protesters, Leah Namugewa. The challenges Uganda is experiencing now is deforestation there's a lot of deforestation there's a lot of desertification uh, swamp drainage the landslides mm -hmm. that this is really affecting Rwanda. this is really affecting my fellow students that some of them are not even going to school i'm giving them the message that they may do it because they want they may cut down trees because they want wood but they are affecting someone else's life, someone else's future. Now, while some countries around the world may be causing more harm to the climate than others, the effects of climate change are indeed global, and many young people know that. For example, 12-year-old Emil in Germany, nice-looking tree, he's part of the global Fridays for Future movement and demonstrates almost every Friday. He understands that the action of one can affect the other. He's drawing attention to that and is calling for a unified approach to tackling climate change. We kämpfen zum Großteil für das Gleiche, nur dass in Afrika zum Teil die nicht so viel dagegen machen können wie wir hier in Deutschland und in der EU, weil wir sind Hauptproduzenten von diesem CO2, von den klimaschädlichen Gasen. Aber grundsätzlich kämpfen wir alle für dasselbe. Yes, indeed. Because experts say Africa is expected to be hardest hit by global warming, even though it contributes the least to the greenhouse gas emissions that cause it. So we should definitely demand more action from our African and other global leaders. But fair enough to say that Africans have not been set an idol either. Even before the Fridays for Future movement caught global attention, young people from Africa have always been vocal about treating the environment right. You remember, back in 2016, 16-year-old Tanzanian Gertrude Clement said this at a UN General Assembly. I'm a young girl standing before you today, but I'm not alone. We expect more than words on paper and promises. We expect action, action on a big scale. And I expect action today, not tomorrow. I expect to return in Tanzania and tell my father that the future is ours and the future is bright. Thank you very much. Now that's what I call young and wise. She's been a strong advocate for treating the environment with the care and respect that it deserves. You know, like a newborn baby. There are some people who may criticize these students for skipping Friday classes to demonstrate. But I believe something serious as climate change deserves precious time to show the gravity of the issue. And it is a serious matter. Climate change is real. Sea levels are rising. 
flooding from torrential rains are expected to get worse. And if the Earth's atmosphere keeps heating up, towns will be threatened by icebergs further melting. According to scientists from NASA, 2015 to 2018 were the four hottest years ever recorded in history, and temperatures are still rising. And I'm sure you feel it too. Hurricanes and other storms are likely to become more frequent and stronger. Take, for instance, the recent storms, rain and flooding caused by Cyclone Udai that hit Mozambique, Zimbabwe and other parts of Southeast Africa. Over 750 have died and the death toll is expected to rise significantly. More than 2 million people have been affected. The World Meteorological Organization calls it one of the worst disasters in the Southern Hemisphere. And it's sad to know that we humans are contributing to such disasters. So next time, think again about your actions. Let's rather contribute to tackling climate change. Instead of using cars frequently, you can walk or, you know, bike from time to time. It's also healthy for you, right? Let's use more renewable sources of energy when possible. Now, I personally make my vote count during elections, yeah? I will only vote for a leader who cares about the climate. So in your country's next election, make sure to vote for policies that tackle climate change. The power is yours, really. Now, little drops of water, they say, make a mighty ocean. So together, we can make a change. Now, if for some reason you don't want to take it from me, take it from this young 77 percenter who is part of the Climate Warriors of Lagos. The group meets every Saturday to clean their beaches. It's really bad that we have so many plastics that come from the ocean to the shores. So I come here most Saturdays when they are doing cleanups to try and clean up the mess. Um, a change in my lifestyle. For instance, um, I don't use single-use plastic anymore. I have my water bottle that I you know, take to work and then my recyclable um, bag to the market. So hey, here's the deal. The earth is our only home. That's all we have. So if it takes kids and teenagers to open the world's eyes to the effects of climate change so that governments can do more about it, then so be it. Now tell us, are you feeling the effects of climate change? What can you and your government do to tackle it? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section right below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the red button below. Okay, it's a big family thing. Then you can easily be notified whenever new shows and packages are uploaded. So don't be left out. Thanks for hearing me out. See you next time. And remember, in case you're already forgetting, climate change is real.